at this area in between 190 when 36 and 190 you will have a very high chance to see the jet military jets flying military jet training Sleep here. Keep you awake, huh? Keep you enough more sleep here. Ooh. So do. Oh, there's a turn there. So slow, slow. So slow, slow. Are you using break now? Not for the moment. I just turned first gear now. Yeah, and then there's, well it's a national park, but there's no ranger or a gate. There is isn't either. No, I don't see any. That's weird. Yeah, we don't know where we are going to park tonight though. <laughs> there's another way back, I may take it. <laughs> for the average driver. There's no way to turn around either. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> once you start it, as if you had a trailer behind it. There should be some kind of signs that say limits. It's, this looks like it's beyond the limit of this lake. Drive your big RV here. <laughs> Tiny one might be better. <laughs> well, I'm surprised the elephant didn't warn me more. So I'm saying, I don't think I'd take that 40 footer there. <laughs> but he just said, he up said and slow, down. but I didn't know it was this slow. <laughs> yeah, thanks to Elephant, our biker friend, uh, give, us some he give us some heads up before uh, we start the trip, when we are planning the trip. So. So we have kind of prepared already, but we still don't know how tight the road it is. <laughs> Didn't look this bad on the map. <laughs> That's always the case. Look at how red that rock is. Yeah. Full of iron. Iron there. Or something. Mom, don't watch this video. <laughs> Mom was like, scare me. <laughs> Did you really drive that army <laughs> to the mountain? <laughs> Boy, we were really sideways, weren't we? That, that yeah, we was are. Tilted. I was so scared. I was so worried we were going to tip over. I was so <laughs> tilted. <but laughs> anything I've ever been on. Okay, that's the first time I was tilted like that. Yeah. So make sure your RV is well balanced. So move your stuff around so they can really balance well. Now one side is heavier than the other side. If you 
if you are in our situation like earlier, you might be dangerous. <laughs> this doesn't even look like my tires will fit. <laughs> no, it's so narrow. Right on the corner, it looked like it elevation is 3,000 feet. I saw Death Valley is below sea level, isn't it? Yeah, 3,500 more feet to go. Yeah. <laughs> It says what well, sunset. I don't want. Hey here. Okay, how much you gonna pay? Well, next day, we rent a jeep. Yep. It's called Ferraby. They are located in between the visitor center and the gas station. And the gas station. This is the only one place where you can rent a Jeep. And it's a lot of money, right? It's two, yes. two fifty a day, basically. Two fifty a day, but including fee. And they also give you free water and ice and, ice and the cooler. If you only rent a Jeep, it's two fifty per day, and. They also provide extra the $25 you pay uh, per day uh, for insurance. On tire and, on windshield. Tire and windshield. So if you blow a tire, which is highly likely if you don't know how to drive on the road, <laughs> or a rock hits you because you're following a car too closely, then it's covered. Yeah, it's covered. And how? They will give you a tracker kind of thing. Oh yeah, there's a GPS tracker. <laughs> All right. so if anything's to happen, I yeah. spot you to panic button of the sort. Uh, so if you guys get into any issue or anything like that, this is what you need to use. Uh, so to turn it on, we're gonna hold the on button for five seconds to turn it on. Mm -hmm. It'll start flashing green. Let's us know it's on. To send the help message, hold down the help button yeah. for another five seconds. Both eyes will start flashing. Let's okay. us know it's on. Try and send the message. Uh -huh. In order for it to send, you have to be outside of the vehicle with a direct line of sight to the satellites. It takes about five to ten minutes for it to send. Uh, okay. So best thing to do is turn it on, put it on top Jeep, wait for us to get there. Depending okay. on where you are, it takes us just as long as did you, plus another 30 minutes to round everything up. So we don't want you worrying <laughs> thinking we're not coming. Uh, we'll fly there. Right, Depends where we are, right? right. Okay. So uh, if for Depends any reason you guys stuck, figure out the problem after due to this and no longer need us, we're going to hold down the help button for another five seconds. Light will start flashing red. That lets us know it's canceled the message. It'll ping our phones, let us know, never mind. And then you just turn it right back on. So now we're getting our Jeep. We have a can fix flat. Unfortunately, it is not for our Jeep since the tires are too big. It's more for other people. See, somebody broke down with the flat, you can help them out. Okay, so Thank you. Oh, Take what's care. your name? Kyler. Kyler. Kyler provides really awesome service. So if you need to rent a Jeep in a Das Valley, don't forget to call for Kyler. There you go. All right. Have a great day, guys. <laughs> this time we decided not to go to the most tourist place yeah. in Das Valley. So like a Dante's view, Bed Water, or Artist Palette, Musky Sand Dune. So we decided to go to the less people, less crowded, uh, hard to get to area. The first day after we pick up a jeep, then we went to Titus Canyon. <laughs> Straight mm -hmm. up. Oh, you don't want to go too fast. You'll be over there. Oh, clear. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Let me take a picture of this. The video showing how deep it is. You don't want to go off the cliff here because you're going to fall down. Fall down. Check your vehicle. Tires. Oil. Water. Oil, water. Water for the for cooling. Flashlight. Yep. Right. Tools. Good hat. 
from the sun? No yes. cell phone service, so yeah. you cannot do anything. Satellite and, phone if you have it. Yeah, prepare to go off uh, social media for days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can get on Facebook, yeah, YouTube, nothing. Yeah, you're, <laughs> you're gonna be in technology. <laughs> Yeah, you have, to, you have to go back to the Stone Age. Some <laughs> people say Stone Age. <laughs> no, no But sales. you know, to be honest, that is part of the beauty too. It forces you to get off of your phone, off of your computer. Yeah, enjoy the nature. And Rock when you. you have a day or two where, when you can unlock your mind to think about other things. I, I found that I had a lot of memories start to pop up that had been crowded in my, my brain. <laughs> You get so in, inundated by these socio, social, uh, all these data points that you know it. You can start to lose sense of where you really are. Yeah. So it's nice to have that time to take a break, reflect, you know, get into the Zen a little bit, and uh, kind of heal your yourself in other ways. Yeah, and that if you plan to go off road, the place we went to, uh, you make sure you have a uh, plenty of food with you because yeah. there's no. Mainly water though, you can only survive several days without yeah, water. Yeah. If you don't have water, you're really in trouble. And there's not many places to go washroom, so ladies, be, pre be prepared. You might have a trouble finding ladies. It's a man's there. world in the Men's wilderness. Man's heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Men and dogs heaven. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's our uh, Death Valley trip. Hope it's, uh, we provide some uh, help for information inside inside yeah. information for people who is coming here or want to come here especially off road places yeah. right yeah. okay we hope you enjoy our trip and uh, stay tuned for our next adventure and don't forget subscribe like share comments everything <laughs> we really help it really is helpful uh, yeah to build if you our need channel. more information more detailed information i will write uh, all the details in our blog and let us know what you like and don't like in our videos and yeah. that'll help us to mm -hmm. you know steer and us if you direction. have any question about the places around the Das valley area especially the place we went to then welcome to leave us a comments down below yeah. okay thank right. you see you in our next adventure all right bye bye, bye. Spare tires on it, right? Yeah, spare so tire jack and all that stuff. What normally happens when people do <laughs> uh, so sand? Mainly just people not paying attention get too close get to uh, sharp rocks and uh -huh. they damage the sidewall. So, uh -huh. so that's the most. But still, you can change your tire. You got all the equipment on there, right? Mm -hmm. And you got yeah, a uh, there even. Two weeks ago, we had uh, a, a group of people actually blow two tires. Yeah. Uh, the first one, we're not quite sure how it happened, but the second one was definite walk sidewall damage. They got too close to a sideburn yeah. and uh -huh. uh, punctured the tire that way. Yeah. And so they were unfortunately charged for the 250 bucks because they decided not to, to take uh -huh. the tire boss yeah. coverage. So that's why we always offer it and then we give you this just in case. Mm -hmm. So if for any reason you did get a flat tire and change it yourself and got another flat tire and you paid for it, we'll come out and bring you another spare tire. 